Hi guys! After last time's unpleasantness, I thought I'd do something more lighthearted this time, and it is my top 10 favourite pairings. Picture couples, real, real life couples, whatever. Number 10. Frank and Riff Raff and Magenta from Rocky Horror Picture Show. This one is kind of my own creation. As Frank and Riff Raff were never an official couple. I just think they have something going on there. So maybe Frank had sex with him. I really, I really like the thought of Frank and Ruff Ruff being in a love triangle with um, Magenta. Number 9. Goofy and Sylvia from Extremely Goofy Movie. I know I've mentioned Goofy a lot recently but I just can't get over how cute they are together. The scene where they're at the um, club and they're this guy does. <laughs> I am not sure who I should be jealous of because, you know, Sylvia, it's hot. And so is Goofy. <laughs> he is hot in that one scene. And you seen after that when they're on the um, bench and there's the full moon and it's all romantic and it's Oh, it's so cute. Number eight. A lot of people might not know the show Hilltop Hospital. It's a a show for children about three to five, I guess. I used to watch it when I was about that age. I loved the relationship between I uh, Dr. Matthews and Nurse Kitty. I so wanted them to get together. Even now, I'm so livid that the show was cancelled before I got together, so we may never know if I got together or not. I do love Dr. Matthews. Oh my god. <laughs> he is hot. He and Kitty are made for each other. Even now, I still watch the show. Sometimes I'm just shouting at the TV. Ask her out. Number seven, Doc and Clara from Back to Future. I love that he was willing to change history just to be with her. And they're so cute together. And I love the fact that they had children. And I can't watch the kissing scene without crying. <laughs> Number six is Niles and Daphne from the uh, TV show Frasier. They were the reason that I started to watch it. I just wanted to know if they got together at the end. And I do. And I really like those sort of heartfelt scenes as well, as well as the um, funny ones. Number five, Jack and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. I really like to know what happens after. Maybe they have kids, maybe they got married, maybe they even broke up. I would love to see a sequel, but I doubt it would ever happen. <laughs> Number four, I actually have four couples for this one and they're all from the same book. Kit and Olaf, Dewey and Kit, Lemmy and Ella and Violet and Olaf from a series of unfortunate events. Two are official couples, Olaf and Kit and Dewey and a lot of fans think there's something going on between Olaf and Violet. I do you think he had the hots for her? Lemony and R is my own creation. I've written a few fan fiction. Pairing her with Lemony is a very good idea. <laughs> um, I often care. Just beautiful. The fact that I have this bond of a poetry. Jill and Kit, of course, they are beautiful together. And even though you like to see them together. Number three. This is my first real life 
pairing on the list. It's kind of embarrassing to admit. I really want Stephen Merritt and Claudia Gunson to get together. It is no Stephen's gay. I do think they should be like a couple. <laughs> they are so hilarious together. Number two, another real life couple, fangirls, please forgive me, Johnny Depp and Tim Burton. I know they both have partners and they have children and they're not gay. I think that there is something going on between them. At least I like to think so. If anyone's seen the um, 10 decades interview, or know what I'm talking about. They are hilarious together and they do seem like an unmarried couple. Number one, Kane and Glitch from Tin Man. And here is why I love them so much. You know, you really should do something about that bitter cynicism of yours, Kane. Why? Someone's got to keep your wide-eyed optimism in check. Hey, Glitch. What? I owe you one. You know, Kane, professional psychiatric therapy is only a crow's call away these days. I think a man like you with your issues with masculinity and the we call it the Boy Scout Syndrome. I mean, I'm not saying they called me Twinkle Toes or anything, but I cut quite a rug. <laughs> oh, you can make a face cane, but it's true. There was a time when I was a fantastic dancer. <sighs> she may have taken my brains. But rhythm, that comes directly from your... Do you have any bright ideas how to get in there? I mean... I don't mind taxing my half a brain for DG, but just once, I wish that someone would acknowledge me from my rhythm. Which, as I was trying to say before I so rudely interrupted, comes directly from the soul. Sometimes, Kane, you make me feel just like those ladies at the dance did. Like I'd blend right into the wallpaper. <laughs> That's a good idea. You want to dance? I'll lead. You follow. <laughs> You're a deep well glitch. It's all about rhythm. Come on, let's go. So, for me today, 